Hello, uh, I am Dr. Kunal Sarkar from Calcutta. Been uh, involved in cardiac surgery in Calcutta, currently in Medica Super Speciality Hospital. I've been practicing adult cardiac surgery, which, as all of you know, involves coronary surgery, valvular heart repairs, replacement, artificial heart pumps, and uh, presently we have a very active program in heart and lung transplantation. Presently, if you are sat inside a room, just look to your right or left, you will see that the room has a door which is interconnecting it to the next room. Such has been nature's plan with the heart as well. The heart has four rooms, two at the top, two at the bottom, and each of these rooms, each of these chambers, they communicate with one another with these passages called valves, and they are guarded by a set of doors. So for four chambers of the heart, we have four heart valves. There are many conditions. There may be still some infections lurking around that people get when they are young. These infections start off a series of reactions which maybe after 10, 15, 20 years later happen to damage our heart valves and that is called rheumatic heart disease. Apart from that, some of us are born with valves which may be somewhat defective from the time of our birth and as we grow, as there is wear and tear of the heart, later on in life these valves start showing some defect. Like the door of our rooms, what can be the problem with the doors? It can either be too tight or too loose. Similarly, our heart valves can either be too tight when we say they are stenosed, or they can be too loose when we say they are leaking or regurgitant. It may, it may be a mechanical valve, it may be a tissue valve, but all of us are working towards to find the right solution that will give the patient the best possible cure and solution. In India, because we've really had to fight with many factors, the disease is a problem, the cost is a problem, affordability is an issue, where the patient, where the patient and their family lives, that is an issue. Do they have access to regular medical tests, that may be a problem. And with heart valve, a very critical issue is when you consider young women for heart valve replacement that whenever we look at people 55, 60 years, 65 years or more, of course their tissue valve becomes the first priority. We want less problems related with clotting, related with coagulation disorder. We want to give people an easy life. We do not want to give them the botheration of having a couple of blood tests every few months and ringing up the doctors. We do not want to replace the problem of a heart valve disease with a coagulation problem. So all these are very important considerations. But our thinking will be a little bit different when we are looking at young patients, young women who are yet to bear children and who may have not got married yet. So for them, Tissue valves, even say for a woman in her uh, uh, 18, 20, 25 years of age, tissue valve is a strong indication because that valve will last them for another 15 years at least. 
by which time that young girl would be about 35 years of age, would have completed their families, and honestly speaking, a redo valve surgery. You can either have a redo valve operation or with a tissue valve, if your conditions and finances permit it, you can have a valve and valve catheter surgery if it is an aortic valve. In a few years' time, I think the mitral catheter valve would also have come in. So, most important thing is that a person, a young girl, wants to live out her life the way she wants to live it out. She wants a family. She wants, some, she wants to be a mother. So, we have to fit the solution in depending on the patient, depending on their situations. Uh, we really still need to speak to all of you and clarify the air about what anticoagulation is. You know, it sounds like a very heavy sounding jargon, but what it actually means is simply keeping the blood thin. So there is no escaping from the fact that if we have a metal valve in the heart, we need to keep the blood thin. The problem really is that the heart valves have really improved, the substance has improved, the technology has improved, but, you know, we have to be, be very careful about one fact. The tablets we take for uh, anticoagulation, keeping our blood thin, is about 250 years old. So we've really not made much progress, much sophistication in tablets like warfarin, acetrom. They are helpful, but we will closely monitor them and have to make sure if the blood is less thin, blood comes into contact with heart valves and form clots. If the blood becomes excessively thin, then what happens? You start getting bleeding in various parts of the body. If you have little bits of bleeding in the stomach or in the brain, now that can be a big problem in itself. So if you are really, really concerned about what effect blood thinning may have on a patient, please, point number one, with metal valve, we cannot take any liberty at all. Therapeutic anticoagulation has to be maintained. Point number two, we are not entirely sure whether the Novak group of drugs works effectively with prosthetic heart valves. Point number three, if there is any genuine concern about a patient's health vis-a-vis -vis anticoagulation, without hesitation, opt for the tissue valve.